This is Duke University. Well, I think there's a great mix of experiences that one has during their three years of fellowship. Um, clearly, the clinical experiences are very heterogeneous. I mean, the you know, going from BMT and sort of seeing what's unique about our bone marrow transplant clinical processes through um, learning what inpatient medicine looks like for hematologic malignancies and solid tumor malignancies, as well as a, a really great mix of outpatient experiences is really nice. And then when transitioning to second and third year, I think what's great about it is that um, you have a, a good mix of autonomy and support at the same time. So um, you essentially have at your disposal all the great um, researchers and thought leaders at Duke University that span the Cancer Center, but also go into the business school and the genomic sciences and basic sciences and public policy and so on. At the same time, you're watched um, over by a mentorship team that, that makes sure you're getting to where you want to go. You make the experience, you know, what is good for you. And you really sort of grow into becoming an oncologist and a thought leader and a researcher and a thinker all at the same time. And so really then participating in things that involve the whole cancer community as well as the whole greater university community at the same time, I think just makes it a great experience in the sense that, yes, you're an oncology fellow, but absolutely you can go walk into the engineering school and ask them, hey, what's going on over here that I can help with? Or, um, in you know, the biosciences and public policy and, and, and cost effectiveness and the business school and so on that um, really the whole campus is at your disposal. Well I think it's important to to recognize that um, you know to be able to do good research you need protected time and you need uninterrupted protected time and in that way I think what's unique about our program is that you know when you're on research you're, you're doing research and any sort of clinical responsibilities you have are, are things that you volunteer for but not things that you have to do. At the same time, what that means is it gives you continuity to run your experiments and to, to get your protocols up and running and, and to eventually get to things like publication and, and presentations. So I think Durham's a great, a great city. I'm a, a foodie for sure, so um, eating at various restaurants and being out and about is, is great. I also love outdoors, so we do a lot of biking and um, hiking trails and so on. The American Tobacco Trail is great. Um, but I love the fact that we're just hours away from the beach and just hours away from whitewater rafting in the mountains. I couldn't really think of a better place to, to live for, for anybody who has interests along any of those things. Produced by Duke University.